Now, when we talk about bases here, B stands for boy, M stands for man. Now, remember, whenever we talk about periodic table, I love to ask you to separate them into metals and non-metals. Now, of course, over here, to make sense out of acid, base and salt, I will always link back to your periodic table. If M stands for man, which are your metal, bases stand for boy. So another word, bases, actually has two categories. Bases actually involve metal oxide or even metal hydroxide. So every time when you see this word metal oxide, I am actually talking about bases. When I say metal hydroxide, I am also talking about bases. So this word is a huge word. Just like boys, when they grow up, you become men, handsome men. Older men, okay? You will grow up. So metal, when exposed to air, they will form a layer of oxide, metal oxide. And when metal oxide react or in water, they'll become metal hydroxide. And under metal hydroxide, we have two parts. We have the soluble one. And we also have the insoluble one. The insoluble remain as a metal hydroxide. However, the soluble will form alkaline. And which group of the periodic table did I mention before that they are called alkaline metals? It's none other than your group what? Think about it. Tell me your answer. If your answer is, oh, I know, it's group one. Very good. In group one, we have lithium, sodium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Okay, lithium, sodium, potassium, I'm sorry, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. So these are your group 1 metals. Soluble metal hydroxide means that if I have sodium hydroxide, soluble, alkaline. Potassium hydroxide, soluble, also alkaline. Cesium hydroxide, also soluble, alkaline, okay? Now, group 2 here is a little bit special. Why is it so special? Because... You have uh, beryllium, magnesium, and calcium. Now, group two is called alkaline earth metal. Okay, alkaline earth metal. Sometimes, um, uh, because of this word earth, and it's called alkaline. Some people ask, so are they soluble as well? Well, out of this group, only one of them is very soluble, which is your calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide. And it's none other than your lime water. Now, in your lab, we have three of them, okay? You have sodium hydroxide. I'm going to categorize it. We have sodium hydroxide. All right. And I have with me here calcium hydroxide. Last but not least is your aqueous ammonia. Okay? Aqueous ammonia. Alright, did you get this? 